everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing my spring makeup routine. I love to do these videos at the start of each new season. I just think it's fun to incorporate some new products and it's a fun way to share some things that I've been loving for just my everyday makeup with you. Some of these things you will recognize. I use them in my everyday makeup drawer that I do every month and a few of these things are newer to me. So I figured I would incorporate them into a video and share my updated spring makeup routine with you. So these are the products that I will be using quite a bit for my everyday face for the spring season. I love to watch videos like this. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. And I was actually looking in my YouTube analytics. I try to do that pretty often. And I noticed that, would you believe, 51% of the people watching my videos are not subscribed. So if you are here and you like my content and you wanna see more videos from me, please take a second and make sure that you're subscribed. I've had a few of you tell me that you thought you were subscribed and then you went to my channel and you actually weren't subscribed. So do me a huge favor and check really quick just to make sure you are subscribed. And if you wanna be notified when my videos go up, make sure you press the notification bell. Okay, let's get into it. So I've already done my pre-makeup little skincare routine that I always do. So I use SPF, obviously. I've already done that today and I used this one from Beauty of Joseon. I love this one. This is the SPF 50. You can get it on Amazon or Yes Style. And then I've been really enjoying this under my concealer. I've been using this Bobbi Brown Eye Base. So I always apply this like five or 10 minutes before I start doing my makeup just to make sure this area is not dry. So I've already done that. But we're gonna go into a primer and a few of the things I'm gonna use today are from Jane Iredale. This is not sponsored. They did gift me a few things to try out and I've been loving them. So I'm gonna be using their Smooth Affair Brightening Face Primer. So this is part of their three-step skincare makeup system. You may have seen my Instagram reel I posted about this. So basically there's a three-step system that includes this primer. So it looks like this. And it's kind of like a gel consistency. I love the way this feels on my skin. It feels hydrating and definitely kind of smoothing on my skin, but not like a silicone feel. And I don't use a whole lot of it. It spreads quite a bit, so you really don't need a ton. So I just kind of work this in really well with my hands. And then I like to let it sit for a few minutes. We are gonna go in with powder foundation today. So when you use powder foundation, typically you wanna be even more careful with your skin prep beforehand. And when I say careful, I mean you don't wanna go in with a powder foundation without really prepping your skin underneath because it, it won't end well, I promise you. So I'm just kind of really working this in. Okay, while I'm waiting for that to kind of set down, we're gonna go in with corrector. And I have just been really enjoying this one from Sigma. This is the Color Correct Spectrum Color Correcting Duo in Light Medium. This is a product that I kind of had to warm up to. I didn't love, love it the first few times I've tried it, but over the past few months, I've really started loving this. So I have found that it works the best with your fingers. I don't know why. Something about the consistency on this just works really well with your fingers. And you do get um, a darker shade and a lighter shade. So I normally start with the darker shade. This is a very hydrating, creamy corrector. So if you are wanting something that's not drying at all under your eyes, this is a really good one. It is not a full coverage color corrector. It's not as um, opaque as like the Bobbi Brown color correctors, but this is a good one for every day. I have been really enjoying it and it's 
very easy to apply. I like kind of going in with the darker one first and really just pressing into my skin. So you can see it does do a good job. Um, and then what I like to do is take the lighter shade, which is here, and I don't get as much of this one, but I like to apply this one right here in the very inner corner. And it's very similar to, if you're familiar with the Becca under eye brighteners, or I guess it's Smashbox now. So the Smashbox, previously Becca under eye correctors, this is very similar texture to that one. This one is a thinner consistency though. The Becca ones are pretty thick, I found. This one is very thin and just very easy to spread under your eyes, but you don't get a ton of coverage from it. So depending on what you're looking for, this may or may not be for you, but I've really been liking it. Only thing about using your fingers is when you have long nails, it makes that kind of difficult. And mine were actually kind of short. I cut them off the last time I went to get them done and they're already like grown out again. So that's the only difficult part about using your fingers, but this product works the best when you do. Okay, moving on to the foundation. We're gonna use the Jane Iredell Powder Foundation. This has SPF 20 in it. They sent me this um, and I've been trying it out and I have fallen in love with this product. So it looks like this. It's refillable, so you get a compact and then you get the powder in here it comes separately and then it has the little place back here where you can pop it out once you're out of it and replace it so i have been using this and i believe it's hard to see the color i think mine is called radiant either radiant or radiate i'll put the shade in the description box because i have to take it out to see the shade but we're going to go in with this and i'm going to use their brush so this is a little kabuki brush it's called the handy Uki, it looks like this. And this is more of a soft matte finish foundation, but I basically just go like this, get a little bit on there, and then I apply it like this. I press very lightly, kind of stipple it into the skin. With powder foundation, I know sometimes, I always think of Bare Minerals, the classic swirl tap buff. That works depending on what your needs are, but sometimes I find when you buff things, instead of really like pressing them in, you get or you lose a lot of your coverage. So with this, I like to really press it like this. And then in areas where I don't need this much coverage, I can always kind of buff it out like this. But powder foundation is just a nice thing to have. I kind of go through phases with it where I use it a lot and then I won't use it as much. When I first started wearing makeup, which was when I was, the coverage is great too. Do you see how much that covered? And I just went in real quick with that. But when I started wearing makeup when I was, I don't know, 15 maybe, maybe a little bit earlier than that, I wore Bare Minerals and that's all I wore because that's what my mom wore and that's just what I did. So I wore that for years, the original powder foundation and I loved it. I think it's a great product. One of the hardest things about that foundation to me, the loose one, is applying it because if you're applying it the way they tell you to, which is to like buff it in, I find it's not the easiest to get the coverage that you're wanting if you apply it that way. But that is the foundation, or the first foundation I ever wore. Before I was really into makeup, um, that was what I wore. And I wore it for years until I guess when I was in college, I think is when I started like testing out other things when I discovered YouTube. <laughs> I find that with this foundation, it works the best paired with the other products. And I know that's an annoying thing to hear, but 
I have found that these three together just are a match made in heaven. So you have the primer, the foundation, and then there is a spray that we'll use in a little bit. Those three together, so good. So now that I've got it applied all over, I have been using this as concealer also, believe it or not. I was very scared to try this the first time, but I did it and I just really liked it. So we're gonna do it today. I'm obviously gonna switch to a smaller brush. This is one of the Morphe Ariel brushes. It's the A14, just kind of a fluffy, I think it's an eyeshadow brush, but I've just been taking something like this and again, I just kind of tap over my corrector. You don't need a lot of this. And I did this the other day and I love how it wore throughout the day. So we're gonna do it again today. And sometimes, you know, if you're in a hurry, it's just nice to have one thing that you can put all over. And this is another reason why I said earlier, if you're gonna do a powder, on your skin, especially under your eyes. You really wanna make sure you are prepping that area. You do not wanna put something powder all over your face like that without prepping your skin. That will not turn out well, I can promise you. But I don't know, I've just been really liking this for every day. Next for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Victoria Beckham bronzer. I know I have honestly fallen in love with this bronzer since I got it for that Victoria Beckham video. I just love it, especially with a powder foundation. It's seamless, easy to apply, and I just love it. I kind of mix the two shades together, and I just love it. This is the shade number two. So one of the shades is a little bit cooler, and then one of them is a little bit warmer. And I'm using a Makeup by Mario brush. This is the, I always forget the name of this one, F2. But it's double-ended, so you get a larger end and then a smaller end on the other side. Also been loving using this as eyeshadow. Next, we're gonna move on to blush. Blushes change up all the time with me because number one, I love blush. Number two, I have so many. Every day, it just kind of depends on what mood I'm in, but I wanna use this. This is actually perfect for powder foundation. So this is the Patrick Ta blush duo that you know I love, and this is my very favorite one, which is She's That Girl. So the reason why I say this is a great product for this routine is because his blushes actually work if you do powder and then cream over the top instead of cream first and then powder. So you can actually apply the cream over the top, right over these powders, and it works. So we're gonna do that today, and this is She's That Girl. I'm applying the powder first with the A507 from BK Beauty. Perfect, warm, pink. I feel like this color doesn't get as much love as it deserves. Everybody's loving She's Blushing right now, which I also really love. And then that really bright pink one, which is She's That Girl, or not She's That Girl. This is She's That Girl. She's a Doll is the more um, blue-toned pink color, which I also love, but my all-time favorite is this one. Okay, so we have the powder on, and then I'm gonna take a sponge. You can use whatever you want with the creams, but I feel like his uh, cream blushes work really well with a sponge, so I'm gonna get some on here. I'm gonna kind of work it on the sponge, and then I like to kind of tap it off just a little bit on the back of my hand, and Add it on there and you see how this, the cream on top of his powders just adds that skin finish back, especially if you use a lot of powders underneath. And you can build up the pigment. So if you don't want a lot of pigment, you can just apply a little. And there you have it, look at that, oh, love it. So now that we've got our base on, 
we're going to do the final step with the Jane Iredale system. And this makes a very big difference. This is the pomace hydration spray. So this is going to bring back a little bit of glow to our face. And I'm just gonna take my sponge, the other end that I did not use for that cream blush and just lightly go around my face and blend it in. And this just kind of, I don't know what it does, it just kind of melts all the products together. Moving on to the brows. I have really been enjoying the new Benefit Brow Gel. This is the Fluff Up Brow Gel. Normally I do this first when I'm not using powder foundation, but honestly didn't think about it today. So we're just gonna go in with it now. And I like to kind of back comb this in my brows first and then brush them up and then over actually bought a new Refi Brow Sculpt. So I've been using that one, but I don't know, something about this one from Benefit, I think it's just a little bit easier to apply because you don't get that really white residue with this one like you do, oh my gosh, my dog, you guys. Sorry, my dog will literally not stop barking today. Um, anyway, so I've been using the Refi Brow Sculpt. That's my actually my second time buying that and I really like that but the last few times I've used it I've had a really hard time with that white residue getting it to kind of work in so I think that's why I've been liking this one from Benefit. It's just a little bit easier and it holds your brows really well. I'm going to fill in my brows with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. This has been like my go-to brow pencil lately. And I've kind of been, I don't know, I feel like I've been filling in my brows a little bit differently. I just kind of make little hair strokes like kind of quickly like this. And I don't try to outline it too, too much. Sometimes I do just a little bit like right in this front area. And then I'll like add a little bit up here, but I like them to look pretty like soft. So I feel like I like it when I do the bare minimum in terms of filling them in. But that Benefit Gel is really nice because it holds the brows in place where I put them, but it also allows you to get in there with your brow pencil and still use it. Sometimes with certain gels, if they're too like rigid in there. It can be kind of hard to get your brow pencil to work, but this one works really well. Okay, for eyes, I have been into the easiest, just quick eye look ever. I don't know, that's just been what I've been going for lately. So I did this the other day and I loved it. I took the Jane Iredell powder again with that fluffy Morphe brush that we put or we used under our eyes. And I just apply a little bit of the powder to my eyelids. Like, do you see that? It doesn't like give you that full coverage kind of look on your eyelids, but for every day, I'm not really going for that anyway. So I just take this fluffy brush and just kind of lightly go over them and it just kind of lightly evens them out. And that's it. Sometimes I don't want to go in with a primer underneath. You know, sometimes I do, but sometimes if I'm just doing something real quick, this is what I do. The other thing I've been loving, and this is thanks to Jessica Braun. She, I forget what video it was, but she was talking about this eyeshadow from Maybelline. So you best believe I went right out to CVS to get it. And it's one of the single shadows, which is such like a throwback product. I feel like these have been around for so long, but I was not familiar with this color. This is Nude Glow. Look, it even comes with the cute little sponge thing, but it looks like this. It's just a neutral kind of metallic shade, which I personally love. That's like my favorite kind of thing to just throw on my lid. So I'm actually just gonna take it right on this little sponge applicator 
I've been using it with my finger, but I kind of want to try it with this just to see. And it just adds a little bit of color, a little bit of shimmer. I'm gonna take a little bit more on my finger and add it. And it just adds a little something to your eyes. But I just think this color is so pretty and just a really easy thing to throw on your eyes. And I just put it right over the top of that powder foundation. But isn't that a pretty color? I, I get so many things like this from Jessica Braun and I just, I just go right out and buy them every time she gets me. Um, but yeah, this is the shade Nude Glow and I don't know, I just think it's really pretty. And then I love to take the Victoria Beckham bronzer and I just kind of mix in both shades with whatever fluffy brush I have. And I just go in the crease with my eye open and add a little bit of this and kind of wing it out a little bit too. And that kind of lifts the eye a little bit and doing this just kind of ties everything together with whatever bronzer you put on your face. You could do this with your blush too. And then in terms of an eyeliner, I've been really enjoying using my brow pencil as just like a little bit of liner, or I've been going back to my tried and true Charlotte Tilbury eye powder pencil. Mine is very tiny, but I think I'm gonna do the brow pencil today. And I just, add the slightest little bit of this to the outer corner of my eye. And it's not a whole lot of anything, but it just, I don't know, it just adds a little bit more definition to your eyes. And it matches well because obviously it's what you used in your brows. And it's not eyeliner, so it's really easy. You don't have to be precise with this at all and it just adds a little bit of something. And there you go. So it's like barely detectable, but it does just add a little bit of fullness to your lash line, which I love. Okay, and then I don't do this particular step every day, but I've been doing it a lot and really like it. I take this Patrick Ta eyeliner in copper gold. I did this in another video, so you might have seen this already, but basically I applied this on my bottom lash line, not all the way in. I do like kind of to the middle of my eye and it adds just this pretty bronzy color and it defines my lower lash line a little bit without being too much. Cause typically I don't love a ton on my lower lash line. I don't know why I just don't really love that on me. And then sometimes I just leave it, but then sometimes I take this 210 from BK Beauty and go back into, or go back to my under eyes and just kind of smudge out that Patrick Ta liner. And it also just kind of sets it in place a little bit. I don't do this every day, like I said, but I do it sometimes. Okay, now I'm gonna curl my lashes because we do not skip this step. I don't at least. Oh, I was also gonna mention, um, I do have, I've been trying to get it for a while and I finally have it. If you have been asking about my eyelash serum that I've been using, it's Lilash. I did a sponsored video with them like a month ago but I'm now like an affiliate with them. So I have a code for you guys that will get you 20% off. I believe it's Blair 20. So I will link it below if you're curious because um, I'm still loving it. I'm actually about to start a, a new tube of it, but I will link it below. Okay, for mascara, you already know the one that I wanna use, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna use a new one that I've been trying that I also really like. Most days I've been reaching for a lash and roll. I just can't, I can't quit this one. This is just it for me. But I did get the new one from Maybelline, the Falsies Surreal in black brown. Now this one is black brown instead of 
brown, which is what the e.l.f. one is. Wish they would make this in just brown, but as of right now, they do not. But I've really been enjoying this one. I've had no issues with flaking or smudging or anything. The brush looks like this. It's just a pretty standard brush. It's nothing like super out there, but I've been using this and I've really been enjoying it. I think this one adds a little bit more volume than the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. So that's just one pretty light coat of this one. I also like this because it's not a super wet formula. So there's two coats. I really like this one. Have you guys tried this? I think, I don't think this has been out for very long. I just um, bought this at Target, like a, I don't know, like a week and a half ago. But I think this is brand new, isn't it? Last for lips, the lip liner of the moment is this one from Essence. I've been talking about it a lot lately, but this is the eight hour matte comfort lip liner in rosy nude. And this is the perfect color for my lips. And this formula, truly does last eight hours. I have been wearing this a ton. I, If you saw my last video, I think it should have been the Say video where I tried the new Say foundation. I wore this lip liner, uh, I think two out of those three days that I wore that foundation. And every night when I would go to take it off, I would look at my lips and be like, well, my lipstick is gone, but the lip liner is still there. So this lasts for sure. And then what I put on top kind of depends on the day. One of my favorite things though is the Juicy Lip from Tarte. I love these, they are fantastic. I also love the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glows. This color though is really pretty with this lip liner. It's Primrose. This color is so pretty. I love it. If you like rosier colors, you will love the shade Primrose. I think, or I know, these are going to be on Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty coming up here soon. I am planning to post on my community tab that day to remind everybody because I know those are going to be popular and they're probably going to sell out. So make sure you add it to your cart ahead of time. But now we're finished with the face. I'm just going to take the Pomist spray again from Jane Iredell. Any excess, I just take my sponge and tap around my face. All right, you guys, that is it for my spring makeup routine. I hope you enjoyed it. I love to watch these videos and I just think this is the perfect, fresh spring makeup look for me personally. I love everything that we use today. The powder foundation, you guys, this, I know powder foundation can sometimes get a bad rap just because I think it kind of has a reputation for being super drying and just not very flattering on your skin, but it can be if you get the right one for you and your skin and you prep accordingly. So I really like the system from Jane Iredell. Again, this is not an ad, but I've been using it and loving it. I think... Jane Iredell might be having a sale when this video goes up. I think it might be 20% off, but I will have it linked and listed below. So make sure to check out the description box. And also this little shadow from Maybelline. I'm telling you, if you like neutral shimmery shades, pick this up. I will link it below wherever I can find it online. But this, I'm telling you, that is the prettiest shade. Thank you to Jessica Braun for suggesting it. But I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. And I will see you next time for another video. Remember, simply be you.